Hello everyone, it is February 3rd, 2010, and uh, here's a little update on the computer. Pretty much everything's the same. Uh, we are uh, on version 4.0 of the Ghetto Corsair <laughs> cooler setup here, but it's okay, because I'm going to get a uh, little micro res or whatever here when I eventually get my tax money back, and um, I get some money here for a new case that I'm going to get. Uh, been talking about it a little bit, some of you guys might know. It's really cheap. Well, considering what most of you guys would think is cheap, I guess for me it's kind of expensive. But yeah, so here we go, guys. Basically, the only things that are really different about the computer besides the Corsair H50 is uh, down there we got a Western Digital Caviar Black. One terabyte. So yeah, guys. And I uh, bricked my BIOS the other day, trying to uh, max the FSB on here. I don't know what I did to it, but um, I got the E9 error on the little uh, postcode there. I get E9 anytime I enable the manual overclock settings, and it just restarts three times, goes back to default, and that's all that there is to it. So. I'm going to have to, uh, I guess, reflash the BIOS. I don't know, this board is ridiculous. I mean, I, I love that it overclocks great. It's been pretty good to me. It's been stable and all that, but... Man, when something bad happens with this board, you got to flash the BIOS. It's not like an Asus where it's all, you know, built in. You can go anywhere to get the BIOSes. Like, most of the BIOSes that are made for this board are actually custom, so... At least that's what I read. I mean, I might be wrong, so, you know, if anybody has this board and wants to help me out... You know, I'm always up for uh, something like that. So, all right, guys. Oh yeah, and the reason for this is just to protect in case you know for some reason anything were to get over there. And uh, yeah, guys. So my temperatures are nice. I'm actually running at stock right now. I guess I could probably show you guys. Focus. Uh, hold on. There we go, it's a little better. I'll kill more of that. There we go. Okay. E2140. Running stock, 1.6 gigahertz. I mean, we're, what, 30 to 40% load, give or take. We're running about 30, 35. So you guys see the temperatures. And actually, when I started it up, it was 28C. So that's the lowest it's been so far, so that's great. Of course, my room was 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Now it's up to about 72. So, man, the temperatures are great. I love how they don't really, they don't spike like they used to. Like with the air cooler, with the, the Ultra 120, like the temp as soon as I'd hit any kind of load, it would just spike the temperatures. Whereas this, it takes a few seconds before it really starts loading up the temperatures. Because I ran ortho small FFTs for, like, two or three minutes when I first started up and the highest it got was 42C. So, and even fully overclocked at 3.2, it maybe would have been 50 at the most. And that's two or three notches up on the voltage. So yeah guys, that's about it. Um, that's the computer. Nothing much. That fan's going into the Antec 900 project, which I have other videos of that, so uh, yeah, guys. Oh, if you are uh, on Overclock.net, I actually posted an update of some of the uh, the uh, cuts that I've made since the last time I made a video on here. So check that out if you want. I might put the link in the sidebar if I remember. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys later.